considering the fact that um, six months ago, um, our debt to GDP ratio was at 78% as against uh, a total debt of 393.4 billion. How did we get here? Uh -huh. um, Aisha, first to start with, I do not believe that six months ago, Ghana's debt to GDP was 78%. I don't believe that. Mm. For a number of reasons. We have constantly made that statement that Ghana's debt to GDP is not properly accounted for in the sense that we have identified what we call hidden debt. A typical example is when you use ESLA revenues for the purposes of collateral and to use it to take a loan. Mm. And we believe that per the nomenclature of the ESLA receivables itself, its corresponding debt should be part of the public debt. The government had consistently decided to ignore us. We believe that the ESLA debt is public debt and should be captured as such. Same as the Sino Hydro, when the government for some reason decided to classify it as barter trade. Mm -hmm. And I wonder that in this modern day, we still have a barter trade and you will use it to bypass the fiscal accounting mechanism. For some trade reason, government insisted. But I had said that if you are to factor in ESLA bond, the Archie bond, um, obviously the Sino Hydro, Sino Hydro. and that of um, uh, Road Fan, our public debt to GDP as at end 2021 was 81%. Okay. And this is not secret. I've debated it on the floor of parliament. I've written articles to support the position of the minority. We wrote even to the IMF to get them to do what is right when Ghana was in the program. And yet the government decided to ignore us. So I'm not surprised at this report. If you ask yourself, uh, how did we get here? For me, reading the World Bank document, they have not said something new. Okay. They have said something that all this, all this time we are all aware of. But unfortunately, Ghanaians are not listening to us. The minority in parliament has raised this issue constantly, constantly. We have been very, very consistent on this matter. For some strange reason, we, the, uh, the, the, the country has not woken up to the fact that that is where we are going. Thank you.